Since the rappers were founded in 1995, we have seen the highest of highs. Let's look at Vinsanity, have a look at the We The North era, and then obviously the championship brought to here by Masai Ujiri and Kawhi Leonard. So today at Homestand NBA, we will discuss our favorite all-time rappers moment with myself, Justin Pooney, and Jelani Goodridge Reed. The only rule for today is we can't have the NBA championship as part of our favorite moment. That's the only rule. So I think we can live with that one today. So Jelani, take it away from me. So What's we can't your pick favorite from the season? Sorry? You can't pick You can, you season? can, but it's not the but NBA not the championship. You can, and not, the, yeah. not the Kawhi shot either. Yeah, right? okay. Okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Okay. okay. For okay. sure. So for me, there is an honorable mention before I go. Mo Pete in 2007 against the Washington Wizards. What a what, uh, forcing into overtime. What a call by Chuck Swirsky. That yes. Sprinkle the salami and cheese, Bro, mama. Wrap his whip. That was a fantastic moment. Regular season game in like March 2007. And Sam Mitchell's going wild in the Yeah, finals. man. And, and we won the game in yeah. OT. But my moment has to be the conference finals against the Bucks. Just seeing them go to the finals, right? That was something I never thought I'd see. I'm going to be honest. As a huge Raptors fan, going through what I went through when I was younger, this just wasn't a good team, right? It wasn't a good team. And then these guys find a way to get to the finals. I was shocked. I was like, man, I, I hit up the boys. I was like, yo, we're going to Jurassic, which I was there. Game one and game two, I was there. Wow. Uh, but yeah, it was it was a fantastic moment for the city. Um, and also because of the situation. We were down in that series 2-0. To Giannis, who was the MVP. And Stephen A. said it's over. Yeah, they, they were talking. They were talking a lot of smack let's about us. Let's get them us. both. Even, the infamous. Let's get them yep. both. Happen then. Even on inside the NBA TNT, they had us done. And then that game three, that was the, if you ask me, like the most was, stressful yeah. game as a Raptors fan. That was the one game three we needed. That one that went one. to overtime. It did. Yeah, that I mean, one went to overtime. Yeah. So we forced OT, but yeah, just seeing that vibe downtown, game six, definitely that. No Drake doubt. was on no the doubt. courts that were in the, the Tupac hoodie. The, of course, of course. I think when we won Kawhi that series, Miriam. I was like, there's no way we're not going to win the championship now. You know, it just felt like it, it was, was going to come together at some point. Mm -hmm. so, yeah, that's my moment for it sure. It was nuts. Okay, Justin, take it away. So, I know you guys all think I'm a Raptors hater. I actually, yeah. actually, I was actually a Raptors fan. Wow. You know, I actually have, <laughs> you know, I actually have more Raptors merch than Canucks merch. That's a lie. I, I, to light this guy loves the Canucks. I am not, not that's, that's, I am not, bonfire stuff. I am not, not lying. Lying. I have more fire. Raptors jerseys, more Raptors Why? merch than wow. I have Canucks merch. This guy is locked on Canucks right I'm here. just saying that. So, 2019, I remember, you know, I remember Vancouver, we were on fire. We were all behind the Raptors, yeah. all of that. Um, but this moment, I was not old enough to remember it, but. Mm -hmm. Vince Carter, 2000 dunk contest. The only times I watched this on YouTube as a child, there was a stretch in like grade four to five or whatever. Every day I come home from school, go on YouTube, watch this dunk contest, and go in my basketball hoop in my driveway and try to recreate it. I never got a chance to recreate <laughs> it. I had my arm in the rim. Well, you know what I did one time was I actually put a, like, you know those like those Nerf basketball hoops? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I put I my know. arm in that and I broke it. <laughs> And I got in trouble from it, but besides the point, 2000 uh, dunk contest because that's the moment that made that put Toronto on the basketball no map. Doubt about it. That moment, if that did not happen, that kept the franchise here. Yeah, exactly. What I was going to say that moment by Vince Carter, where he said it's over with the Toronto on his jersey. That right there kept Toronto in the NBA. That yeah. legitimized Toronto. That made Toronto a cool put us on the map. NBA city. Without that, there would be mm -hmm. no Toronto Raptors. Like I always say. They could be the ones in Memphis, and the it's Vancouver true. Grizzlies would still be in Vancouver. Um, probably not, but... It's true, man. I wish that was the case. But yeah, definitely Vince Carter. Uh, also, shout out to NBA 2005, because Vince Carter was in that dunk contest. <laughs> I would try that all the time. So definitely, when I think of that moment, it brings back a lot of happy childhood memories. Well, would you look at that? There's been some really good moments tonight. I love Jelani's, where the great game six... Sorry, uh, Steve... No, Western Con yeah. Eastern Conference. Why yeah, you go. It's yeah. long day today, guys. Eastern Conference Finals against yeah. the Bucks. That that year was insane. Like Jelani yeah. said, you were down wow. two zero, you two nil. Sorry, you come back and you end up getting the whole. You get four win in a row. Yeah. You gentlemen swept the Bucks Basically, at that yeah. point. That's yeah. what you did. Yeah. And then obviously Vince Carter, you cannot go wrong with that. With a team like this that has so much highlights over the course of the years, you've got Masayo Jiri going fuck Brooklyn. You have <laughs> oh, yeah. those were good Remember years that. too, right? Exactly. So there's so much fun there, and obviously you can't go wrong with a whole championship year that was a year that was just 
a, a dream come true for Raptors fan. Yep. But to, for me, honestly, and this is something I was actually in attendance for, and okay, it just took okay. the cake course, for me to course, this day. I know, I have the good luck charm. Let's just face it. I can't ask about the Kings. That's a different story. But that game, it was obviously the infamous Kyle Lowry 30 point deficit and he brings it back against the Dallas Mavericks. I was at the game. I remember I left there for halftime. I we were it was like probably five minutes to go in the third. It's me and my friend. We were like about to grab drinks and we're like, hey, we're down 30 points right now. Should we just go home? And I'm like, you know what? Let's just stay and see what happens. The second we sit down, Kyle Lowry three. Imagine you left. Can you imagine? Yeah. I would have hated imagine, myself at that pain. point. I think I would have to revoke my rapper fan status had I pain. completely left. Yeah. No, I remember sitting down and shot after shot after shot. It was Kyle Lowry with the bench mob. He had Malcolm Miller on. He had Pat McCon. Even Terrence Davis was there. He also That's had um, Ronnie Hollis Jefferson. Boucher had a career night that night with 22 points. And the Mavericks scored 21 points in the fourth quarter. Kyle Lowry had 20 points alone in the fourth Jeez. quarter. He finished that entire game with 32 points and 10 dimes. It was a phenomenal game. It was it was the electric atmosphere. Just knowing every shot that Kyle was taking was gonna go in. Yeah. At the very mm -hmm. end, Boucher makes those two free throws. And we beat the Mavericks being down 30 points. And that was the largest comeback in franchise history. One of the best games I've ever got to see in my entire life. It was just a regular season game. It was just in December at one point. It was nothing anything serious. But the way they fought back and willed, this team wishes right now. This Raptors oh, yeah, team wishes sure. they had that going. Mm, yeah. But that's I think for me, that's going to be that's my... That's a good one. Yeah, I know for that's sure. Big I, comeback. Massive. What's your... What was your the most heartbreaking moment as a Raptors fan? Oh, yeah. It has to be my birthday, May 5th. 2018, you know what happened. LeBron, good night over from OG. You are just foaming yeah. at the mouth for Lebron. You just want to hear us say Lebron. Before quiz? Justin gets <laughs> Lebron to out of our names again, our mouth again. Sorry, it's not going to happen. This is a Lebron free show. We don't talk about PTSD or <laughs> things that bother us. Yeah. What's, I, I, what's your answer? For I still the go to therapy. Who do you think it is? LeBron. Who do you think? But which LeBron yeah. moment? Yeah. I'm not talking about LeBron <laughs> moments. We're gonna talk about it next time if we ever get on LeBron. If Justin's still around here next year, we'll see and have a good one.